Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of a review slash first impression slash testing out a product I just bought. Basically, I've been looking at getting a Fitbit for a while now because I do go running at least twice, three times a week and I want to have something I can use to count my steps, how long I've, how long I've run for, etc. And the other thing was like last week, I got an email from a site called Wouchers. You may have heard of, you live in the UK. It's like a really big deal site and they had an offer on a smartwatch but it was quite cheap it apparently has all the features i would like in a smartwatch so i thought i'd give it a go and i'd buy it now obviously being voucher and being quite cheap i don't know how good this is going to be here it is now it actually arrived yesterday it actually says on the packaging smart band your health steward has on the bottom what it can do but has on the bottom heart rate temperature calories step count distance and also you can do phone calls as well now on the back has all this stuff about it as well it's one of the things I noticed is it says battery 80 mAh. It's not got a very, very good battery. It takes two hours to charge. Again, I'll try and get you to be able to see what it says, but you probably can't, unfortunately. It's got, only got a 0 0.96 inch screen, so it's got a really small screen, and it's only 25 grams. And here is the smartwatch. As you can see, here is the screen. I don't know if you can really see it again very well, because it's so, like, it's so small. What I'm going to do first, for the first test, is I'm going to see if it'll fit on my wrist, because I've got very skinny wrists, but by the looks of things, it's got quite a lot of notches, so it should be quite easy to get onto my wrist, but we'll find out now. So it's got so many notches on it, so it's not not hard to get on just don't make it too tight as you can see it fits on quite nicely it goes on quite tightly as well it actually is quite easy to get on my chest you do get it on but obviously i do sort of a couple of things on like this anyway because i'm quite a clumsy person don't know how to turn it on yet so what i'm going to do first is there's two qr codes here in the user guide which comes with it one's for ios and one's for android what we do is you scan for qr codes on whatever phone you've got and then you'll get an app called the app is called yoho sports and that's what you have to put on your phone to use with the smartwatch so i'm going to do that right now and then i'm going to go for a run if it will work work out to turn it on first go for a run and see if it's any good for what i mainly bought it for which obviously is for running so it looks it looks quite good from the picture on the front and also from the advert that was on voucher but we'll have to see what happens so i'm just going to scan the qr code quickly on my phone so that's what you're looking for i think called yoho sports if you did get this one there's some very, very similar on the on the voucher as well. So you might not get this specific one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and turn it on. And obviously, I don't quite know how to do that yet. There's a key here. Don't, you can't really see it very well, unfortunately. But there's actually, if I get to focus, there's actually a button just uh, just here on the screen. You, I think that's what you have to hold down. All right, so first problem, I can't get it to turn on. I don't know if that's because it's not charged up at all yet or whether it's I've gone and bought a dud. That's so what I'm going to do. I'm not going to panic too much yet, but I'm going to try and charge up work out to charge it up and then i'll get back to you guys when it's charged up and see if i can get it to work at all i won't be able to go running with it today so i'll probably do the running test another day but so far <laughs> it's a beautiful watch but i can't get it to turn on so i'll see you guys when i actually can get it to work <laughs> I wasn't able to take it on my run today simply because I didn't actually know how to charge up or anything like that but luckily when I got home my mum actually worked it out for me and it is now on charge. I've had to use my laptop to charge up as you can see it's here. It's actually upside down at the moment because it's the only way it does it. But if you look it's actually it's coming up now it's actually charging. Only irritating thing about it so far is that you have to have a USB 3.0 socket to plug it into. It doesn't actually come with USB lead or anything like that, but it was quite cheap, so I don't know why I was expecting to have a USB lead come with it. But so far, it does seem quite cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you guys the app that comes with it. Now, the app comes with it, like I said a minute ago, it's called Yoho Sport, and I'm gonna quickly show you guys the home page of it first. Now, as you probably can see here from the very beginning, it says I've done 24 steps today. I said just because I literally went to put it on charge and it took me 24 steps to put it on charge. There's only reason why it's come up with that. But as you can see, you've got the calories you've burnt, the kilometres you've walked or ran, and obviously something about missing a daily goal. And you can also track your sleep as well. I'm going to test out the sleep tracker tonight. Now, I do not sleep well at night anyway, so I might be give very bad results, but it doesn't mean that's not accurate. It just means that I'm just not a very good sleeper. But I'd love to see what it's actually going to say. And I'll update you guys about how that went tomorrow morning. And it also tracks your heart rate. Now, it does this by a little sensor on the back of a watch. And I'll try and show it to you. Oh, there it is. So if you look there, you see here, 
that is the heart rate sensor, I believe, anyway, and that's what tracks your pulse and your heart rate when you're running or walking, whatever. It also tracks your blood pressure as well, so I thought it was quite cool. Don't know how it does that, though, however. And then if we go into the actual settings now, if I go onto the device, you can see here, it says it's currently charging. Notifications, this bit's probably the coolest bit, one of the other reasons why I bought this watch. So we have incoming call notifications, SMS notifications, a thing called WeChat, which is really popular in China, where this watch is from. It's like another version of WhatsApp. Um, something called QQ, not too sure what that is. Facebook and Twitter, as I currently have off, only because I don't have Facebook or Twitter on my phone. WhatsApp notifications, any messages on WhatsApp will come up on your watch as well. I will try and test this out, but I don't get a lot of texts and calls on that on my phone, unless I actually ask someone to ring me just to just test it out, so I might end up doing this video, so it might be the only way I can do it. And then also we've got Instagram as well. And obviously you've got vibrations. Whenever any of these messages come through, your watch will vibrate. I think called Shake for Selfie. I'm not sure what that is yet, but you can take a selfie with your camera or possibly even with a watch. I'm not too sure how this one works yet. Um, we've got Smart Alarm, a fine band. So if you just want to find it, you can try and connect it up. Features, you have activate on wrist raise. If you do this, I'm guessing the screen will come up and you have an activity as well. Like I said, I will try and get as many of these on camera as I can. I've been doing a sleep tracker thing tonight and let you know results tomorrow. I also might put it on tomorrow at work so I'll be on self scan all day. So what I'll do is I'll wear the watch tomorrow and I'll see how many steps I do. So I literally just walk up and down all day for like six hours. So I'd like to see how many steps I'll do and see if it, how well the watch works then. And then again, I'll report back to you. And also I might take it on a run as well, but it just depends on how good it looks after the walk. So there's no point doing run as well. So it'll be exactly the same as, it, as you'll see from the walking. So <laughs> just want to see what happens. But yeah, um, so far I'm quite impressive actually. For a 12 99 watch, which apparently was originally 70 quid gone to Welcher, but whether that's true or not, I don't know. It's, it is actually pretty impressive. There's a lot of really cool features on it. I can't wait to get started. So I'll see you guys in the morning with my results from the sleep tracker. Okay, morning guys. So it's currently 6.37 in the morning on Monday and I wore the sleep tracker all night and it didn't work. <laughs> so I don't know if I've done something wrong or if it doesn't actually track your sleep, but so far, not exactly the best so i'm gonna work out how to get it to work and then i'm gonna try again i'm not gonna give up just yet so i just got it so we'll have to see what happens but so far it didn't work so i've got nothing to show you one thing has done though is actually the battery's lasted all night which is good is what i'm gonna do instead is i'm gonna wear it all day at work and see if the step counter works or at least so this is something I'll show you guys for now. I'll get back to you guys tonight for results from the step counter at work instead. Hopefully that will work out better. Okay, so it's Monday afternoon. Sorry about the mess in the bed and background. I haven't actually gone to two and up yet to do this little bit of a clip. I actually wore my fitness tracker all day today at work. I was on self scan for at least four hours of a six hour shift. So I got getting plenty of steps in. Now I'm very happy to say it did work pretty well. In fact, it did work so well. I was actually quite shocked at how much I actually do walk on self scan. I wasn't even on self scan all day and it still gave me quite an impressive step count. So I'm gonna show you guys how many steps I did now. So I see here is 8,180 steps. This is all just from self scan alone. I have, what I did is I actually turned the watch off before starting work and then I didn't have to turn it on again until I actually got into work. And the same as when I finished work, I turned the watch off again so it wouldn't count any steps going to work or coming back from work. Also, I wanna show you guys how many kilometers I walked from self scan alone. So as you see here, it says 5.43 kilometers. That is how much I walked today. I can't even physically run that yet. I can run a 5K now, but not very quick or not very good. I'm still not very good at it yet. That kind of shows the extent of how much I actually walk. That's not even a full shift on self scan either. So I was incredibly amazed at that. But yeah, the step count works really well. How many kilometers I've walked seems to work really well as well. I cannot wait to take it out and I go running next. So I will be doing at some point. Whether I'll do a video on it, I don't know because technically it's the same kind of thing as walking. So I don't really think you'd see that as well. But I'll see what happens later on. But also this morning I did say about how a sleep tracker didn't work. 
work. I don't know what I did, but it turns out it does actually work. It does track your sleep. Basically what happened is when I woke up this morning, it didn't seem to sync to the app on my phone at all for some reason. So I was thinking I maybe, maybe can't actually use it as a sleep tracker. So I kind of thought, oh, I'll look up a little bit more, but if you can't use it, then fair enough. And then I went to work, obviously on my break, I synced up my data from my step count to my to the app on my phone that comes with a watch. And all of a sudden, like the sleep tracker appeared and had all these results on it from last night's sleep. And yes, it will say four hours, which does seem like barely any sleep at all, but actually it's quite accurate for me. I don't go to bed very early at all. And even if I do go to bed early, I still can't get to sleep till like one o'clock in the morning. So I am a really, really bad sleeper. I had to get up at half six. So I think that is actually quite accurate. But it's good to know it actually does work. But I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with this watch so far. It cost me something like 12, 13 quid. And it's originally 70 quid, apparently. I don't know if that's true, but that's what Woucher says anyway. Uh, but I am very impressed with it so far. And I was actually going to spend all this money on a Fitbit. And yes, you can't actually physically pay for goods with this watch. And all, But one thing you can do, which is quite cool, Yesterday, one of my friends WhatsApped me and it came up on the screen WhatsApp message who it was from, what it said. And even though the screen's very small, it actually didn't look too bad. Unfortunately, you cannot actually physically reply from your phones. I know like a lot of the smart watches and really expensive watches can do. But I think for what it does give you, it's actually a very, very good deal. And I would recommend if you're on a budget, definitely looking at sites like Woucher or Groupon for smartwatches because so far I'm very very impressed with this one but I'm going to test out a little bit more before I actually finish this video properly. Okay so it is currently Tuesday morning I haven't long woken up this is why I look like such a mess I'm so sorry. I had to wear the watch again last night just to see if it would track my sleep any better. I actually slept really well last night which is really odd for me but unfortunately, for some reason, which I'll show you guys now, it still didn't really pick up my sleep very well. It says on the app here, as we can see on the screen, I only got about just under five hours sleep, which isn't true because I know that I slept a lot longer than that. So I don't know if a sleep tracker actually works very well. It's a bit disappointing, but so far it seems to be the only feature that's really playing up. It does still track your sleep, it does still give you some results, so I can't really complain too much. I'm also going to show you guys a couple of features I've discovered on this watch as well, which I actually think is pretty cool. Whether it's accurate or not, again, I do not know, but I'm going to show you guys that now. Right, so I had to actually put it on for this part because some of the features I'll be using, I will have to have it on my wrist to physically use. What this also does, is also takes your blood pressure, apparently, and also does your heart rate as well. So if I go to heart rate, I'll show you guys on screen as well what you do. You press play, and it's currently calculating my heart rate. Let's give it a minute. Right, apparently my, my heart rate is 70 beats per minute at the moment. And last time I tried doing this, it was 72 beats per minute. So I'm clearly slightly more relaxed than I was last time I did this. Now I'm going to go on to blood pressure. Now, I don't know how this works. I don't know if this is accurate or if it's any good. If anyone in medical is watching this and um, my blood pressure looks bad, please let me know because I don't actually know. But I'm going to give it a go now. There's a sensor underneath. It's normally turned screen when it's doing this, but it's not coming up for some reason. Well, apparently I have 127 over 80. And last time I did this, I was 158 over 93. I don't know if that's any good. I do have medical people in my family, but none of them are here right now, so I can't actually ask them. So yeah, let me know if that is a decent blood pressure level. I need to go see a doctor pretty quickly. I think that's all it does. Okay, so I have actually have done something. In my desperation to show you guys what notifications look like on my watch, I've actually texted myself. <laughs> And it has actually worked. So I'm going to show you guys a random text I sent to myself. Literally just to get to come up on the watch. You guys see what it actually will look like. So I'll do that right now. You can see there, there is a text. Get it to come up again actually just in case you didn't quite catch it. There we go. The screen is pretty small so it's difficult to see it. But that is pretty much what comes up. Comes up with an icon with what it is, whether it's WhatsApp, Instagram, whatever. But it, sometimes it will say the message, sometimes it won't. It depends how long the contact's name is. So it is a pretty cool feature. And so far, it's been really two days in, and I'm still very, very impressed with it. And I think it's actually pretty good value for money, seeing as it was so cheap. Okay, guys, I've just got back from a run, and yet again, I wore my brand new smartwatch. Just test it out on runs as well as on walks. 
and um, I also did also have Strava running in the background as well one because I wanted to see how long it took me to run a certain distance which is one thing my watch does not do I also see how accurate the watch is compared to my phone whether it says I've done the same amount of steps same amount of distance on my phone to the watch and vice versa so first off I'm going to show you guys what my watch says I ran so according to my watch I ran 1.91 kilometers but if I now go onto my phone and go onto Strava I actually ran further but according to Strava I actually ran 2.65 kilometers in I did that in about 22 minutes so no I wasn't very good but I was doing hill training today so I wasn't expecting to be fast but what this did prove is that my watch is quite far behind my phone then I'll see if it actually tells me if I've done 5k or whether it'll tell me less or even more than what is meant to be also another thing I forgot to mention you may actually have seen from a screenshot anyway is that also a calorie count seems to be inaccurate as well so it says I've burnt 111 calories Apparently, according to Strava, burned 215 calories. This is almost like a hundred more than the watch claims I did. But anyway, yeah, that's the running test complete as well. Okay, so to sum up what I've discovered over the past week of using this watch, I have to say I have got quite a few pros about it. But sadly, there are some cons. I think those cons are actually quite a big issue for me personally. And I'm going to go into what I mean by that now. I'm going to start off with positives of a watch first because that's always good to start off positives. So the first thing I really liked is the notification system. Now, obviously you have to have it connected up to Bluetooth or paired up to your phone first. It does seem to work with most phones. Once you've got your Android or iOS system up to the latest upgrade, it should work absolutely fine, which is also quite a good positive as well. But anyway, um, the notification system was quite cool it was a bit of a shame we couldn't really reply to notifications like you couldn't really reply to people's texts and whatsapps and all that but again I don't know why I expected that from a watch it cost me like 12 pound but you know it still would have been nice but I did still think that's quite a cool little feature and also it does have a step count on it as well it does measure how far how long it took you to walk that distance or how long it took you to run that distance but it does have quite a cool little step counter so I found very interesting to use when I was at work measuring how far I walked while on self-scan. That was really interesting to me as well. Also, even though the screen is quite small on this, it's still, everything is still pretty clear and quite easy to read. It's quite easy to switch modes. You've got that little button in the middle. i have probably shown you all this at the beginning anyway. But it's like a little button in the middle. You can just press to change to different modes. But now I'm going to go on to the cons. One of the biggest things for me is I'm really disappointed about is the fact that when you're running, it does not measure your steps accurately at all. And that's the whole reason I brought it, sadly, is because I wanted to have something I could use to see how far I'd run while I'm running. And unfortunately, it doesn't. It works with walking, but it can't keep up with the steps you do when you run. So if you want to get it for running, don't. That's basically, just don't. It doesn't work at all. And sadly, does mean I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to spend a lot of money on a Fitbit if I want something that actually gives me running steps as well. So I am a bit disappointed in the fact I'm going to have to spend a load of money when I was trying to avoid doing that by buying this. But apart from that, the only other con I really had was, again, like I said, about sleep tracker. It doesn't, it's not as accurate as I thought it was going to be. And also there's no sleep mode. You can't put your watch into sleep mode before you go to sleep to get it to track it accurately. So it's kind of like touch and go, hit and miss kind of thing of that. Whether that'll work as well. I'm going to sum up this video with saying, sorry this is so long, but I had like a lot to talk about. If you're looking for a cheap watch which tracks your steps, sends the phone notifications to your watch. So if you've got your phone in your pocket and your phone goes off, it'll send it to your watch instead or if you're just looking for something to track your sleep or anything like that. This one's absolutely perfect for you. It's a pretty cheap solution to all those problems. But if you're a runner or just starting off running, looking for a like smartwatch that actually tracks your steps while you're running, do not get this watch because it doesn't work at all. It's absolutely terrible for that kind of thing. I learned that the hard way. Hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. But anyway, so in the video, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. It gave you some kind of insight into cheap smartwatches from sites like Voucher and that. And I also hope you guys have a fantastic week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos as well. Just press the bell down below to be notified whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.